LinkedIn video. If you are looking for the fastest way to record, edit, and publish your videos on LinkedIn, you, my friend, are in the right place because I'm about to show you exactly how to do this. Let's go. My love, I am so excited you are ready to get started with video on LinkedIn because the more AI steps into the marketing game and everyone's posts are looking and sounding the same because they are AI generated, the more people are going to be craving human connection, human interaction, and video is the best way for you to show your soul, your personality, your vibe to your potential clients so they feel compelled to click on your profile and reach out to you. So without any further ado, let me show you exactly how you can get started with LinkedIn video creation in five simple steps. Step number one, pick your topic. And if you're ever in a creative rut and you're not quite sure what to create your next video around, I highly recommend Answer the Public as a resource for you. When you head over to their website, you're going to see that you can run three searches every single day completely for free. And all you want to do is enter one or two keywords in a search box and click search. I just put in LinkedIn in a search box and you can already see the results of what people are searching for when they're on Google. For example, people over here are searching, are LinkedIn messages private? Which is a pretty awesome question to make a video around. Now, personally, I actually struggle to, well, basically read in this wheel format. So there's two things you can also do. You can head over to tables and under tables, you're gonna see all the questions being asked with R. So are LinkedIn messages private? Are LinkedIn certifications worth it? And you basically have questions starting R, can, how, what, when, where, and you just go through all of them to see what are actually people searching for and what questions could you answer. Now, one more thing I personally love doing is heading over to the list and then what I do is sort by the volume because I wanna see what things are being searched the most. And of course, by default, people are trying to log into LinkedIn. So it's LinkedIn login, LinkedIn learning, LinkedIn jobs, LinkedIn logo. And now this is getting interesting, LinkedIn banner. So people are searching for how do I change my LinkedIn banner, LinkedIn remote jobs, LinkedIn premium cost. This is something I could be doing a video around. LinkedIn sales navigator. I already have that video around that. And if you haven't seen it, I'm gonna link that up here in the cards. LinkedIn search, what is LinkedIn, LinkedIn background photos. So what I'm loving over here is that I can see the exact search volume per month. And the reason I'm seeing this on my end is because I'm on a paid plan with Answer to Public and it's super helpful in choosing which videos to record next. So definitely give it a go yourself. Step number two for you is to record your video. And the easiest way of doing this is of course on your phone. It is literally the most powerful device we have. And what I want you to do is record it in a vertical format. And most important thing, I want you to look into the camera. Don't look at yourself, look in a camera. So here's a difference. Right now I'm looking in a camera and now I'm looking at myself in my camera over here on my desktop and you can see the difference. Now when it comes to how long your LinkedIn video should be, I always recommend keeping it between one to two minutes when you're just getting started. However, when you're actually doing the recording on your phone, you get to mess up as many times as you want. Feel free to repeat the same sentence over and over and over again until you hit the mark. So potentially your raw file, the footage you have, is going to end up being around 10 minutes. However, in the next step, we're gonna edit it down and pick the best clips in a few simple steps. Step number three, edit your video. Now, recently I came across the simplest video editing tool that I have been obsessing over because it can automatically remove silences from your video, create jump cuts, and make your video that much more engaging. So let me share my screen with you and show you exactly how it works. All right, so the tool I have been loving is Time Vault, and there's even a special deal for you in the description below. Though what I wanna do right now is show you how incredibly easy it is to edit LinkedIn videos using it. So what I'm gonna do right now is grab a video, drag it into the Time Vault app that you download on your device and really quickly you see that it processed my video and the first thing that happened which I just is insanely good is that it removed all the silences so what it's doing right now is creating jump cuts making your video that much more engaging and what I'm gonna do right now is time myself and show you how quickly I can get this video edited so let's get started And time, we are at two minutes, 21 seconds. So I think this was pretty awesome. And I wanted to show you exactly what I did. So you see these red parts in the middle? This is where I was repeating myself because I messed it up and I repeated myself again to fix it. So whenever you don't like a specific part, you're simply gonna click the key S to make a split in a clip and then you're gonna read it out. And it will automatically remove that part from the clip. One more thing that's gonna speed up your editing process is using the key L because it's gonna increase the playback speed of your video. For example, if I click it once, it's normal speed. If I click it again, I'm talking faster. If I hit it again, 
in, I'm talking even faster and then even faster. And because I personally watch all my books at 2x speed, I prefer editing that way as well. Once your video is done, you're gonna simply scroll to the very bottom of the tool, click export and save it on your device. If you'd like to speed up your editing process, click the link down in the description to get started with Timebot completely for free. They have a basic plan available. And once you fall in love with this awesome tool, you can get an even yummier deal by using code Wendy10 to get 10% off their paid plans. Step number four, add subtitles. My love, I need to be real with you for a second. If you're not gonna add subtitles on top of your LinkedIn videos, you might as well not upload them at all. And the reason for this is that most people on LinkedIn and across social media actually, are watching videos on mute. Meaning if there are no subtitles, they literally have no idea what in the world you're saying. Recently, LinkedIn did introduce automated captions on top of all their videos, though they're not particularly engaging and not that easy to read either. So I still very highly recommend that you find a tool that you love to add subtitles on your videos yourself. I wanted to introduce you to a really fun tool called Munch, who actually specializes in taking your long-form videos and creating short-form clips from them. However, you can also use Munch to add subtitles to your LinkedIn videos, and I'm about to show you how. So click the link down in the description to get a free trial, and once you're inside, you're gonna see a dashboard like this. So the first thing we're gonna do is click this plus button and then Munch is asking about your project type. Rather than selecting LinkedIn, I actually recommend that you pick Instagram. And the reason for this is that LinkedIn videos are square by default and I want your video to remain vertical so you can use it also on Instagram and on YouTube Shorts. Now, the next thing you're gonna say is that you don't wanna create clips from this video because again, we just wanna add subtitles and then we're gonna click next and upload our video. So I'm just gonna drag it and drop it. Though, if you already have it somewhere online, like on YouTube, you can also add the link there. Once your file is uploaded, you're gonna click next and from here, select any style that you choose to because we're gonna tweak it later on and then again, click next. Very quickly, we're gonna name our project and then just describe it. And in this case, it's kind of a explainer video. And then we're gonna say munch it. You're going to see it in your dashboard like this. And once it's processed, we're gonna click into it. It's time to have some fun. So we're gonna click within this video. And first thing you're gonna notice is that you have a full transcript on the left-hand side. You just wanna scan through it to make sure everything's correct. If you need to change anything, for example, what am I saying here? Probably not that. So I'm gonna click here and play one second. 10, 20 minute videos longer videos, 10, 20 minute videos. I love doing the podcast. Okay, so I'm saying 10, 20 minute videos. So I simply want to click within this and add a dash because that's what I'm talking about, referring to those videos. So you're gonna quickly scan through it. Anything you wanna change, it's super simple to do. And then we're gonna head over to styles over here. First thing I want to do is change the font to be this one. I'm not gonna try to pronounce it because I have no idea how to do that. <laughs> then I think I want to increase the size to maybe be 60, but we're gonna see how it's looking in the end. Text color, I'm gonna have it be white. Background style, I would like a rounded one. Then at the same time, the background color for me is gonna be a very light, just a very light gray. And I can basically change the transparency here, I think slightly less transparent. I'm gonna make it be like this. Now I'm gonna change the text outline color to be my branded blue. And I might actually change the outline to be slightly not as thick. Let me see. Oh, I'm actually quite happy with this. And now I'm gonna tweak the effect color to be my branded yellow, which is gonna be very similar by the way, though this is definitely on brand now. So when we play the video now, you're gonna be able to see how everything is looking. Maybe, let me just see, I might actually go back to slightly smaller font. And of course, I want to mention that I can, we can move this wherever we want it to be. Now that you have created a style you love, make sure you save it as a template so you can use it later on. So I'm just gonna call this V and click save for now. And one more thing I want to highlight, which I actually really love, is auto title that you can turn on. Meaning, and this is kind of popular typically on Instagram and TikTok, you can have a title on your video for the first 15 seconds of the video, 30 seconds of the video. So if you go to title styles, you can say the timing is gonna be first 15% of the clip, and then title text, for me, I'm talking about short form versus long form video. And the reason you might wanna to choose to have a title is just so people know what this video is going to be about. And a similar thing is that under styles, we can play around with the design and how it's going to look. In this instance, I'm actually gonna turn it off and I'm gonna go ahead and export my video over here. Step number five, upload to LinkedIn. Now, once we've done all the magic with our video, it is time to show it to the world. So what we're gonna do over here is click media, we're gonna select the video we have just created with the subtitles. So you can see the subtitles here, super cute. We're gonna take this video, click open. And remember I mentioned that LinkedIn has automated captions. I want to turn those off because I'm just 
Again, we have way cuter captions now, so we don't need these. And what I'm gonna do is click apply, and also, should you choose so you can change the thumbnail. The reason you would do this is if you're not quite happy with the frame that LinkedIn automatically pulled from your video. So if you have a crazy facial expression, like actually don't mind mine too much. Though if you didn't like yours, you're gonna click over here, video thumbnail. And what I oftentimes do, I simply take a different screenshot from my video. Let's assume this is a better one. And I just select that as the first frame, the thumbnail of my video that people are gonna see. So I'm gonna click add. And you can see that this is gonna start like this. We're gonna click next. And all we have to do is add a copy behind our video or we can go ahead and hit post or schedule for later. There you have it, my love. That is exactly how you can create a LinkedIn video from start to finish. If you're looking for more support for growing your business on LinkedIn and attracting your perfect clients, definitely reach out to me on LinkedIn and ask me more about the LinkedIn Bootcamp. If you found this video useful, could you please, please do me a massive favor and hit that subscribe button down below. We have a big goal hitting 100K subscribers on YouTube by the end of this year, and I could so, so appreciate your support with this. Besides video content, carousel posts also work exceptionally well on LinkedIn. And if you wanna learn more about those, you definitely wanna check out this video next, where break that down step by step. Thank you so, so much for being here and I'm gonna see you in that next video.